Киев Телефилм Компани. Without You. Episode 2. As of today, we know about seven victims of the serial killer, nicknamed by you press guys, the ghost. Sir, do you mean that the number of the victims is much bigger, but you can't identify them as such because the police still doesn't know how the ghost was able to enter and leave the victim's apartment without being noticed? Is that right? Thanks. Let's say we have problems with that. So the investigations department still doesn't know what's going on? The ghost stays one step ahead of you. I don't believe it's true. Remember that we are bound by the law. Before we charge anyone with anything, we need to collect exhaustive evidence. Thus, we are investigating all theories to avoid any mistakes. We are running out of time, so... What? Igor Valentinovich, I have a question. Please listen. Hennady Antonovich, I promise you the ghost's arrest is a matter of time. Our best detectives are on it. No, not Kartashov. I removed him from the case. He didn't get any results. Yes, I'll keep you posted. Goodbye. Tatiana. Yes, Igor Valentinovich. Send Trubitskoy to me. Yes, sir. Miss, listen, it's a misunderstanding. He brought me there on a date and gave me all the passwords. The date was in the evening. And you came back later that night. I told you he asked me to come later. He wanted to do some role-playing. He's a Lara Croft fan. You see? I'm almost certain. And I have no live life. He's a nice guy, so I decided... You're a girl, too. You must understand. I'm not a girl. I'm junior detective. Miss Olesa. Okay, Miss Olesa, I'll keep it in mind. By the way, where is the senior detective who was role-playing with me? I'd like to talk to him. A piece of advice, stay away from men. They are evil. Detective Dmitro Trubitskoy is with our boss. He'll be back later. Dmitro, at least he didn't lie about his name. Is he married, by the way? I'm the one asking questions. So ask him. Isn't it wrong asking a descent girl to amuse him at night to role play and setting her up? So, you're claiming that you came to the museum on a date? Exactly, on a date. What were the lockpick and the flashlight for? As I said, he told me he loved to Lara Croft. Three months. You've been on the ghost's case for three months, and so far there are no results. I want an explanation. Igor Valentinovich, we have results. We've closed in on a few cases, probably related to the ghost. You mean a few potential cold cases? No, sir. The major problem is that we can't figure out how the ghost enters and leaves the victim's houses unnoticed. We have considered all versions. I think we need to involve a lux expert, a specialist. Is it a problem? Don't we have a lock specialist? We do, but they lack criminal mindset, I'd say. We need someone who knows how the ghost thinks. So far, we can't find them. So go and find one. Otherwise, archive all these pseudo-suicide cases. I don't want unsolved cases in my yearly report. Our clear-up rate is bad as it is. Have I made myself clear? Yes, Colonel, sir. One more thing. We can't dismiss the Yakimenko case. It's too high profile. I need results. Get them, or get demoted. Off you go. Yes, sir. What would you do in my place? A nice guy looks... 
trustworthy, sober or the museum wouldn't have hired him, also he is single. Do you know many guys like him? So I went all in. -in. Besides, I must confess, I have been a Lara Croft fan since I was a kid. Anyway, what are the charges against me? I didn't steal any paintings or balls. It's my fault I like guys in glasses. He invited me there. I didn't invite you, and I have proof I didn't. All our meetings had been recorded on a video. As I say, it prevent. Who is for coming here? I thought you wouldn't dare. Now I see how you guys built your careers, setting up innocent people like me and getting promoted. I trusted you. I thought you were the best. I almost fell in love. And you? You stabbed me in the back. Clara, you should go to an actor's school. You are famous in certain criminal circles, even without it, though. Museums, banks. Oh? A jewelry store. Breaking and entering, just entering, breaking digital locks. We've been watching you. This time, Clara, you're going to jail. Don't try to intimidate me. You have no proof. Benefit of the doubt, remember? I can see where this is going, and I want a lawyer. A good one, who won't let you send an innocent person to jail. Yes, you can have a public defender. We aren't responsible for their skills, though. Dmitro, sorry for interrupting. Have you found out how the ghost entered Yakimenko's apartment, or should I keep looking for Lux experts? No, Lisa, keep looking, okay? Sure. Wait, are you looking for an expert in Lux? I'm ready. For what? For cooperating with you guys. I help you find the ghost and you help me make this misunderstanding disappear. Olesya, if she's not going to talk, get her back to the cell. Okay. I mean it. Don't send me back. I really can help you with the case. I read about it online. The pastor's rules. You guys can figure him out. Even so, what does it have to do with you? Let's say the ghost isn't the only one able to pass through the walls. Thank you, thank you. I heard about your big investment, Evgenia. A car for your gigolo? Don't you think you've wasted those money? No, I don't. Count your own money and don't worry about mine. Well, we are not strangers, my dear mother-in-law. How can I not worry about you? Yes, dear son-in-law, in law. But you have to decide what you're worried about, me or my money. If it's the latter, you can relax. I'll make sure you won't get any of it. Why do you hate me so much, Evgenia? After all these years living together, I was the best you could get. That's what you think. Have some jam. It's delicious. I strongly recommend it. It's strawberry. I'm allergic to strawberries. I know. The old hag is out of her mind. We need to get rid of the gigolo before he takes all her money and leaves Lisa without her inheritance. Mr. Zubov, excuse me, but do you really think this is a good time? The elections are coming. If something happens to Georgi, the cops will want to question your family. The press might find out your opponents. Yes, you're right. But something has to be done. I swear. If not for Lisa, I'd get rid of the old hag, but... 
My wife wouldn't forgive me. So I have to put up with it. All right. If we can't get rid of him, let's bribe him. Talk to this toy boy. Make him a reasonable offer. Maybe he'll disappear. Sure, will do. By the way, is Lisa back yet? Not yet, as far as I know. Why does she have to go there and torture herself? To be honest, I thought the ghosts of the past will stay in the past. Obviously, I was wrong. Olesya Zubova. So many years have passed, but for me it's as if it were yesterday. Roman, it's so awful to bury your own child. I wouldn't wish it to anyone. Hanging there, sis. I can't believe it either. When cancer kills older people, it's awful, too. But when... When... A three-year-old... I can't accept or understand it. Let's go. Come on, let's go. I'll be back, baby. I told you about him. Yeah, sure. I can't believe Chief has approved this experiment. I'm a consultant, not an experiment. A good one, I must add. Sure, sure. Considering all the charges against you. Nice place, by the way. What do we have here? I love this kitchen. The furniture, the appliances, the view. No, guys, it's not a suicide. Someone living in a place like this wouldn't kill themselves. Nice party. She had a great apartment. Lots of money, a good job. All these trophies. She wouldn't take all those pills. I wouldn't jump to conclusions. Angelika Yakimenko was single. As for the money, they don't make you happy, just comfortable. Right. Says senior detective in a $500 skirt. I didn't know you guys were paid so well. We want to know how the ghost entered the apartment. It's a fancy high-rise with the CCTV cameras all over the place. The concierge downstairs registers everyone who comes and leaves. We've checked the delivery guys who came here on the night of the murder. They couldn't get in from the outside. Fifteenth floor, the lock wasn't broken, so... So someone is going back to their cell. Sure, I'll come running. Do you have CCTV plan? Eureka, she said. Look, here is a blind spot. The camera angles don't overlap. Three of four windows in the ground floor are outside the camera's range. Got it? The managing company decided to save money. If I were the ghost, I'd use it. I'd get into one of those apartments, then the hallway, then the target floor, open the front door, and voila, I'm in. While the owner is out, the criminal poisons her drink or whatever. Sounds beautiful. But unfortunately, impracticable. Why is that? Because they'd have to break into a lot of windows and doors. Are you kidding me? The windows are standard job. Any idiot can open them. Not to mention a pro. Now the door. Give me the right lockpick and I shall move the world. You like quotations? Yes, it comes with the job. I teach lead. So what? So nothing? 
So does the ghost. What? Opera and ballet theater. Tuck in your tummy. Good, good. And one. And one. Yes, good. And two. And two. Good job. Good job. Nice. Thank you. That's it for today. Nadia, wait for me, please. Hello. Hi. I couldn't come. Hello. So nice to see you. What brings you here? I thought you were on a maternity leave. Not yet. But as you can see, I can't rehearse anymore. I heard you were having a baby shower. Hi. Hi. I hope I'm invited. Yes, of course. Hi. Hi. Nothing too big, just some fun with the girls. Great, great. Hi. Hi. Listen, I mean to tell you, I had no idea how complicated your lead roles were. What do you mean? You didn't know? I'm dancing all your roles now. Thanks to your pregnancy, I have become a prima ballerina. I'm so grateful to you for this. <laughs> Nadia, I've been looking for you. Let's have lunch together, okay? Yes, sure. Well, it was nice to see you. Same here. Whether the scares you or not, it will come for you anyway. What is this bullshit? Yakiminko's death note? Was she a fan of Goethe? You know your classic literature. Do I have to say it again? I'm a lead teacher. An external program. I won a scholarship, by the way. To tell you the truth, I thought your degree was fake. Don't judge by yourself. Well... Are all the suicide notes quotations? You shouldn't have shown it to her. It's actually classified. Do you think many of your colleagues would quote classics? You empty that I'm the ghost? Just because I quoted Archimedes? Any child know this phrase. Anyway, on the night of the Yakiminko murder, you were in the police custody. An ironclad alibi. I never thought I'll be happy to be in jail. You haven't answered me. Any book lovers among your colleagues? Or internet lovers. There are laws of these quotes online. You don't need to know who Gotha is. You just go online, find a catchy phrase, memorize it, and later write it down. That's one theory. Okay, I've helped. I can go. Ciao. Not so fast. I knew that. You have a crush on me and cannot let me go. Well... Grigory, I brought you a book, Crime and Punishment. Are you kidding me? Why don't you bring the criminal code too while you're at it? I brought what I had on the bookshelf. You always complain. If Clara brought it, you'd be happy. I sure would be. She wouldn't bring such shit. How is she, by the way? Is she out yet? Still in. They won't let her out. She called to ask for a lawyer, but where can I get one? I don't even have the money for my surgery. You and your surgery. I've asked around, and you can do it free of charge here. Why go to Israel? The doctors are better there. I read about it. Okay, okay. I think you just like to be sick and miserable, fishing for compassion and screwing with Clara's head. If not for your illness, she'd have moved out long ago. Mind it. I'm not buying it. Listen. We need to get Clara out. Find her a good lawyer. Ask Zakharov. He knows people. I'll give the money. When you need to get Clara out of jail, you do have the money, but for my surgery. That's enough. Better thank Clara. If not for her, you'd never see me again. 
Shizil, that is holding us together. That's it. Bye. Grigori. <clears throat> Nadia, I know how you feel. If someone wanted to steal my custom designer job, I would be mad too. Can you believe her? Thank you for giving me your spot. She must be kidding. This was such a bad time to get pregnant. It's okay, though. She won't be shining there for long in my place. I'll get back to practicing as soon as I give birth. You want to go right back to work? Yes. Aren't you going to nurse it? Doctor says the baby needs it. I don't care what they say. I care about my career. Nadia, honestly, I don't understand you. If your career is a priority, why would you want to have a baby? I didn't want to. It just happened. Wait, you told me you planned for this baby. Never mind what I told you. You see, I had a few abortions before Dmitro. I have rhesus negative blood. My doctor said if I don't have this one, I might never have a baby. So I thought about Mitra. Sooner or later, he'll want to have children. I decided to keep it. But I didn't know it would be so hard. Wow, I didn't know. Have you talked to this doctor of yours? The understanding one. Eduard Karlovich? Uh, right. Yes, he said he'll see you. Why do you want another ob though? You already have one. You know, I don't like him. He's not right for me. I want a good doctor, because it's a delicate matter. Yes. Okay, thanks. Well? You were right. They found traces of forced entry in the ground floor. Great. Can I go now? No, keep an eye on her. I'll get the car. Yes. What do you mean, keep an eye on me? That's what you get for helping people. What do you mean? Excuse me, are you from the investigations department? Yes, why? Mishko, quick, let's do it. Sure. Ready. Are there any new details in the ghost case? Is it true that Ms. Yakiminko committed suicide or was she killed? Guys, we... Uh, she was killed, poisoned and then finished off. But mind you, they will not go unpunished. We already know how the ghost got into her apartment. Clara. So let the ghost get ready for death. Clara, shut up now. Please give us your name. Shut up. I'm a consultant with the investigations department. With my help, we'll get the ghost convicted. Together we can do it. No, I don't work alone. I have partners. Stop her. She's talking to the reporters. What reporters? Take a look. A great couple, you know? Oh, here he is. By the way, can you come and... We need to go. Goodbye. Bye. What the hell? What? They were all over us, and your assistant couldn't say a word. I had to deal with them. She did the right thing. You can't give away the details. How would I know? No one had warned me. I didn't say anything. That's what you think. What if the ghost watches their show? Do you realize what it means? I do. Exactly my point. Get in. You're such a party pooper. We are like Mulder and Scully, Castle and Kate, Lisbon and Jean. A great couple, you know? Oh, here he is, by the way. Excuse us, we need to go. Goodbye. Mom, I can do it. Let me help. I'm fine. Okay, I'm going to work. Call your brother if you can come upstairs. I can do it. Lucia, hi. Did you see the news? Our Clara is a star now. She's working for the cops. What's the bullshit? She was arrested yesterday. It's true. She's consulting them. She said it herself. She was with this handsome guy. I do him. Come on, I'm going to work. Is she out of it? What is she saying? Our Clara, a stool pigeon? 
Did you leave? What's funny? Who was that cop with Clara yesterday? Do you know him? I don't spy on her, and neither should you. Don't hold your breath. I can see how you look at her. Nothing is going to happen between you and Clara. She doesn't need a cripple. I'll find her a good man who'll bring money in the house. Adios, amigo. Hugs and kisses. Trash. The tops like the interview? Are you sure? They are ecstatic. I don't know what your girl said, but she has improved the image of the investigations department and gave a favorable prognosis for the investigation. In a word, the press loves her. A few positive stories have already come out. It's good for our yearly report. So, keep up the good work. Yes, sir. So, does Clara stay or go? And if she stays, will she stay in custody as a suspect? Or do we hire her as an expert? Trubitskoy, you figure it out. But remember, I hold you responsible for this Clara. If she escapes, you'll be in deep trouble. If she helps find the ghost, get ready for promotion. Yes, sir. Permission to go? Granted. Hi. Where is Alicia? She was summoned somewhere and asked me not to run away. So I'm sitting here, practicing for serving the time, knock on the wood. Here. What's this? Your temporary ID card for the investigations department, and maybe your new life. Better use this chance. You won't get another. Are you serious? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I know it's uh, investigations department. You're on duty. I need to behave. God, my childhood dream comes true. I'm a cop, too. It's a strange childhood dream. Just remember, if you're late or skip a day, our deal is off. I'll put you on the bulletin. No bulletin, boss. I won't let you down. I'm sorry I had to leave. Look what I've got. I'm your colleague now. I'm a cop. What's going on? I'm a cop. Her childhood dream comes true. I'm a cop. I'm a cop. Do you remember? Room 10. Eduard Karlovich is waiting. Yes, I remember. Thanks, Lada. Bye. Nadia, wait. I can come with you if you want. No, I can handle it. The only thing... Lada, can you not tell Dmitro that I've switched doctors? Why? You know my mother-in-law. She keeps interfering into our family. She wants me to have natural birth. And I want a cesarean, because it's better for the baby. So I need a good doctor to make the arrangements beforehand. Yes, your mother-in-law. She's horrible. I believe in my body, my choice. Okay. Go and don't worry. Mom, it's the word. Okay, thanks. You're the best. Have a seat. All in all, you're doing great. Since you prefer a CS, we can set the date beforehand. It will be two months from now. So, it's... Uh... Eduard Karlovich. My friend Lada says you're very 
understanding that you can understand a complicated situation for extra pay, of course. What exactly do you mean? Could you tell my husband that the baby is premature? Say, one month. Well, we can discuss it. I am open for business offers. Besides, the baby's interests come first. Of course. Lisa, you should talk to your mom. She's losing her mind. She'll soon give him all the family business. My mother is not a fool, Alexa. It's her life. Let her live it. She has the right to be happy, too. He's using her. Don't you see it? It's funny that I'm trying to protect my mother-in-law from herself. And nobody supports me in it. Alexa, I'm sorry, but I believe Mom never asked you to. You shouldn't have gone to the cemetery today. You aren't yourself when you come back. I don't want to forget her. I didn't forget her. Not a day comes by without me thinking of her. I know. I really do. I'm so grateful that you stopped me. If not for you, I would have joined our girl a long time ago. But you were able to stop me. I did my best. Thank you. Twenty years earlier. Lisa. 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 Look who's here. It's our daughter. What? No. It's not her. Our baby is dead. You're confused. I know. I'm not crazy. But she can become our daughter. She's my friend's kid. They both died today in a horrible accident. She has no family. It's up to you. Or I can take her to an orphanage. Mom, Dad, hi. Hello, hi, baby. You're home late. I think it's time you quit. Dad. Alexa, don't start it. Why? Tell me why my girls always gang up on me. Daddy, no one gangs up on you. Mom and I love you so much. Right, Mom? Okay, I should go. By the way, have you seen Roman? I can't find him anywhere. He must be at the club as always. No, he can be there. It's our movie night. Okay, I'll go find him. I don't know what we would do without our Olesa. We have the best daughter in the world. Let's go to sleep. Let's. It was hard to hear it from her. The next doorway. This neighborhood is... Not everyone wins a lottery called Comfortable Life. Don't be late to work. Yes, boss. Since we're colleagues now, let's go to the first name basis. You can call me Clara. I'll think about it. Clara. <laughs> See you tomorrow.
Ah, here you are, rat. What? You're the rat. How could you do that? Siding with the cops. But it's doing time. Have you thought about your godfather? If the guys in jail find out you are a rat, what will happen to him? So it's okay if I go to jail, but not if your precious Grigori gets hurt. You bitch! Don't you dare! If you ever raise your hand at me again, you'll regret it. Got it? Bitch! I sheltered a rat! A snake. She knows how to spoil the mood. Mom, Mom, Dad, Foxy. You guys would like him. Well, girls, I'd like to say that I have accomplished my master plan. I have achieved something career-wise. I was on tour in Europe. I got married, and now I'm going to have a son. You have a nice place here, too. Not open house, of course. At least it's paid out and not mortgaged. Yes, it's a lot these days. That's right. Girls can have the cake. I envy you an apartment in the city center, a good husband. Come on. Speaking about the husband, where is Dmitro? Does he care more about his work than your baby? Paulina, in case you forget, my husband is a detective, and I'm so proud of him. This is to him. Yes, he's a hero. Yes. <laughs> he chases criminals who unfortunately don't commit crimes on schedule. Aren't you worried about his new partner? Whom do you mean? Clara. She and Metro gave an interview today. Didn't you see? Look, with my help, we'll get the girls convicted. Together we can do it. No, I don't work alone. I have a partner. He's a handsome guy. We are like um, Mulder and Scully, Castle and Kate, Lisbon and Jane. A great couple, you know. Oh, here he is, by the way. Excuse us, we need to go. Goodbye. Dad, can you look her up off the record, especially her birth certificate? Can't you do it? You have a good database. I tried. I wanted to find out about her family, but it's weird. All we have on Clara is her birth certificate. Technically, it's all right. But logically speaking... You think her papers are fake? I don't know. I want to find out. Okay, I'll try. Thanks, Dad. Wait. What's going on between you and this Clara? Nothing. I vouched for her, that's all. She's a good expert. Why do you ask? You never vouched for criminals before. This is different. It's about catching the ghost. Well, maybe. So you see, it's my chance to start over. No, I'm glad my godfather taught me his trade, but I'd rather he paid for my law school. No, I know what you mean. Besides, the detective is so handsome. Is he the one who pretended to be the museum nerd? Yes, he is cute. Cute? He is a god. I saw you both on TV. Really? Listen to my advice, my friend. Don't lose your chance, and I don't mean the job. I hope he's single. You know married guys are trouble. I don't think he is. I didn't see ring. You should clarify it, just in a case. Okay, I will. No, he can be married. He wouldn't be able to play a single guy at the museum so convincingly. Would a wife allow her husband to work undercover like this? Nadia. Where are the guests? And they've left already. Dmitro, do you think it's okay? You didn't show up at our baby shower. Nadia, I told you I'd be home late. Who were you with? This new consultant, Clara. 
No. Were you watching the news? The good people showed me. Nadia, don't tell me you're jealous. You have no reason to. Really? Are you sure? Dmitro, you need to know one thing. I'm not used to playing supporting roles. I'm not going to compete with your work or this broad. Get your priorities straight and decide who is more important to you, our baby and I, or this consultant and your work. Prosecutor's office. Hi, beauty. Here are the documents from the Sviridov case. Can you take a look? Sure, thanks. Put it on the desk. Well, how about seven? Seven what? What do you mean? I'll pick you up and we'll go for a drink someplace and then we'll see. Kartashov, does your wife know about your plans? Is it about my wife or my ring? I can take it off. Get back to work. Darling, don't play hard to get. You'll end up in my bed anyway. I have slept with every girl from investigations. You're the only one missing. Auntie Nura, the janitor, too? Hi. The ladies battalion commander. Do you have a problem? Not at all. What's wrong with him? Auntie Nura rejected him. Oh. Is Clara here? No. It's ten minutes to. You think she bought it? She might. Here I come. I'm ready. Well, where's my gun, or what is it you give the new recruits? We don't give weapons to criminals. Whom did you call a criminal? I'll have you know that I have no criminal record whatsoever. Ladies, ladies, play nicely. We have lots of work today. Sign this. What this? A non-disclosure agreement with everything that applies. Sign it. I don't need another interview like yesterday's. God, it was just one interview. Well, are we going to do some field work? Where are we going? To the field. That's not how I pictured field work. I'm allergic to dust, by the way. Sorry, can't help you. Your job is to find all the cases that might be connected to the ghost. For that, you need to work in the archives. Right. Why aren't they digitalized? What? Nothing. Dmitro, you know, uh, this isn't fair. You know everything about me. You have this huge file on me, and I know nothing about you. What do you want to know? Well... Your blood type, your pin codes, if you're married. Excuse me? Yes, Dad? Yeah, sure, of course. How could I? Here. I told you to cover your throat. You will catch a cold. You should cover your own throat before Georgi cuts through it. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Courting old ladies. Stay out of it. See you tonight, my love. Yes. See you then, my star. Don't let this upset you. Remember how much I love you. I love you too. What's not to love? She's a millionaire. What's wrong with this world? Yes, baby. Did you miss me? Yes, I'm on my way. I had to spend the night at the old hags. Yes, bye. For you? Thank you. 
Roman, are you crazy? I ask you not to come to my work, if someone recognizes you. Olesa, relax. You aren't such a public figure. Here, you left it in the dining room, you dolt. Who is the golden boy? Your boyfriend. No, Kartashov. Be back on your way, okay? It's not that far. Hi. Is he bothering you? No, never mind him. He's the local idiot. Are you sure? Usually you aren't this rude. Roman, I love you, I really do. But you need to go home, okay? Dad, are you sure? What do you mean she didn't exist? The birth certificate is a fake, a good one. So is her aunt's custody papers. It's unclear where this Clara comes from. Okay, thanks for the information. Well, have you found anything? No, not yet. I've just started. Your job is really upsetting, seeing all these dead bodies every day. Let's get back to my questions. I have a question for you, too. What is it? Who are you? <laughs> what do you mean, who am I? You know your birth certificate is a fake, don't you? Yes, I do. I'm... Foundling? Don't look at me like that. Didn't you know that not all kids have parents? I don't think I understand. If you're a foundling, why weren't you legally adopted? Oh, don't even. You know who my aunt was at the time. A madame who would have trusted her with the baby. So she did it that way. As far as I know, one of her girls got pregnant, had the baby and left. My aunt couldn't have kids on her own, so she decided to keep me. Any more questions? No. Then why don't you answer? The latest ghost cases are in the database now. We might need them. The crime scene data? Yes. Finally, some technology, may I? God damn. He isn't a ghost. He isn't an asshole. Have you noticed something? I think so. The bastard. What? The wrapping paper. I was to surreptitiously deliver a present to this address on the night of the murder. Why didn't you? I had a stomachache. They didn't pay that much, so I passed it to another delivery person. Were they from the same quest group where you pick up jobs? How do I know? I haven't seen them. I left the present on the bench in front of the building for him. Listen, I know this group. I'm a member. I even took part in a few quests. But there was nothing like that. You need to know where to look. For people like me, this site is like a labor exchange. Look. See this hashtag? These are paid geeks. Mostly pranks or pretty revenge. Sometimes bigger tasks come up which are paid better. If I knew the ghost was behind it, I'd never have taken it. Delivering some pretty prank is one thing, and a poisoned present is another. As I said, this ghost is an asshole. Does anyone have a snack? When I'm nervous, I feel I could eat an elephant. There are croissants on the fridge in the office. Thanks. I'll steal a couple. I mean, borrow. Yeah, sure. I'll be right back. Vasil? Yes? Can you recover deleted ads with this hashtag? I can try. He said no? He is getting arrogant. I offered him a reasonable figure, but or he probably thinks he can get more. 
This is all he's going to get. Artists are prone to depression and often suicidal, aren't they? Mr. Zubov, are you sure this Georgi's worth it? If something happens to him, we cannot avoid the scandal. If it doesn't, he'll rob my stupid mother-in-law blind. You said she found him an apartment in the city center for a birthday present. If this goes on, he'll take her to the altar. And then what? We can kiss goodbye or cash cushion. We must get rid of him. Do you have a problem with it? This is not the best time to assign it to our usual guy. Why is that? As far as I know, our ghost is in a bit of trouble. Have you got something? Wait. There's the hashtag. The latest assignment? Can you hack into their messages? What do you think I'm doing? Here. Got it. But it's today. Shit, we won't make it. Send an ambulance to the address. And a patrol car. Clara and I are going there. What do I tell to the paramedics? A murder. Okay. Hi, whom did you want to see? My husband, Dmitro. Is he murdered? As you can see. 